As a channel that reviews equipment, it is very easy to consistently review the high-end, top-of-the-range stuff because they always use the best material, have the best feel, and so have the best performance. But today, I'm going to be looking in the opposite direction, the diamonds in the rough. And that's why today we'll be looking at four budget options. The Yonex Play Racket, which comes in the £50 in the UK, under $75 in the US, 200 ringgit in Malaysia, 400 rupees in India or Lapan Ratus Ribu Rupiah di Indonesia. Remember when I first posted my comparison video on the Yonex Astrox 88S and 88D series rackets a while ago? Back then, they only had the Pro, Tour and Game rackets at three different price points. Now, there's a fourth racket, the Play. And this has been extended to four models of rackets and thus far Yonex starting with the Astrox 88S and D models before ending with the 99 as well as the latest release, the super highly regarded Yonex ArcSaber 11 Play. Now you've seen me talk about the Astrox 99 Play as well as the ArcSaber 11 Play in their own comparison with the other siblings at different price points, namely the Pro Tour and Game models. Click here to find out more. I'll also leave the links in the description below. But today I'll be focusing on comparing the four play rackets here. In terms of looks, all four rackets have followed their prices siblings in terms of colour schemes and design features, but when compared side by side, the Astrox Plays have a glossy finish whilst the Arc 11 Play had a matte finish. For the shaft diameters of the rackets, they all were very similar at just over 7mm, where the frame thickness was around 10 for all four of them. They also have identical frame heights of approximately 24cm as well as widths from 18.7 to 19cm. They also had the same amount of handle length at 17cm. The only differences between the 88S Play had from the rest of them was it was 5mm shorter at only 670mm. That reduction came from the shaft length where the 88S Play was measuring at 21cm and the rest at 21.5cm. Other differences came from the 99 Play as well as the Arcsabit 11 Play which both had a power assist bumper and the control assist bumper fitted at the 12 o'clock region of the racket whereas the 88S and D Play had none. All three Astrox racket had enlarged grommets around the 3 and 9 o'clock region to help with hold and power generation again similar to its higher end siblings. In terms of the recessed region of the racket all four rackets had the top half recessed although the ArcSaber 11 Play had a shallower recess compared to the rest of the three. All four rackets that I've tested here were in 4UG5 spec and all three Astrox rackets were rated to withstand up to 28 pounds of stringing tension, whereas the ArcSaber 11 Play was rated at 27 pounds. You should expect the 3U models to have a one pound higher tolerance in terms of tension. For production, all four Play rackets were produced in China for Yonex, which is slightly different to the higher end models, which were made in Japan and Taiwan. For me, the production quality of these rackets were fabulous and I absolutely have no issues with them at all. Heck, if you handed me these rackets and told me they were mid-high-end range rackets, I would have believed you. Long story short, these are very, very well made. Right, let's now talk about how they play and feel. All four rackets have very unique characteristics within Yonex's playing matrix. In short, the Astrox 88S rackets have a position where it's slightly head heavy, very fast and have a very big sweet spot. The 88D rackets have more power than the 88S, but just a touch slower, probably due to the normal length as well as what it feels like a normal size sweet spot. The 99s in comparison will be the head heaviest and stiffest, a proper singles racket if you want one, and finally the Arcsub 11 series will have the least head weight, but the most shuttle holding time. Very comfy and easiest to play out of the lot. And these four play rackets do reflect that accurately in that sense. If we start with the Arc 11 play, the racket again felt very steady with a good amount of stiffness alongside a decent sweet spot. There was plenty of hold with the racket and feels very good with Aerobyte. But then again, Aerobyte is my favourite string so I am biased in that sense. In the UK, the Arc 11 play retails for just over £35 and it is incredible value. I cannot recommend this enough. If we then look at the 88S Play, and this guy was super fast with a big sweet spot alongside some decent power too. You can certainly feel that the bigger sweet spot immediately, and it certainly came with a comfortable level of stiffness and was pliable enough to generate lots of easy power alongside nice feedback at the same time. If we then went straight onto the 99 Play, and oof, instantly that head heaviness and stiffness hits you straight in the face. 
if you want a good budget, hit heavy and pretty stiff racket, this would be certainly my recommendation here. I remember testing the 99 series rackets previously and a big sweet spot from these rackets was certainly one of the big main revelations that I found. But in this comparison, it didn't feel as big as the 88S Play, but certainly close. As my test racket was a 4UG5 model, it certainly wasn't sluggish and certainly the head heaviest and stiffest out of the four. And finally, we have the 88D Play. It was again very evident that the stiffness for this one was in between 88S and 99 Play. It certainly felt a lot easier to play with compared to the 99 Play as it wasn't as demanding. It did remind me of my day-to-day -day racket, which is the 88D Pro, so that must be a good sign in terms of how close they play. All four rackets certainly have lots of power if they hit them right and certainly very, very good value for money. In terms of grips, all four rackets had similar stock grips, which were pretty good in my opinion, certainly more than acceptable at this price point. If you do have very sweaty hands, I think you will have to replace the stock grips pretty quickly. One thing to look out for would be the stock strings. I am aware that in certain regions they come factory strung and they're not the best unless you play with plastics. So I would certainly suggest you get them restrung with your favorite strings and they would feel great. If you're struggling with what strings to pick for these rackets, then I recommend you watch this video to learn more about what strings to pick for yourself and let me know which one was your favorite value racket down in the comment section below. We all certainly love a good bargain. Till then, I will see you in the next one.